Now, to be honest with you, I really didn't enjoy Hollow Fragment, and the horrendous translation didn't help. However, the game still sold unbelievably well in the West, constantly charting the PSN's top 20 downloads. I love the anime and it's a series that is perfect for video game adaptions, so I still held hope that maybe the next game would do it justice. The story of Lost Song takes place after Kirito and his band of waifus escape from Sword Art Online. What's better way to celebrate their freedom than jumping back into another VR MMO called Elfin Online or ALO for short. Except this one doesn't carry the deadly consequence of dying in real life. Or does it? Okay, it doesn't. The game really doesn't cater for newcomers to the series, so ideally you should watch the first season of the anime to get a better grasp of the characters and their motivations. The story in Lost Song has a few laughs, some fun new characters, but the overarching plot never grabs you. At least the translation is leagues above the English laden script in Hollow Fragment. Another plus is every cutscene is fully voiced, but the game is Japanese voices with English subtitles. I mention this because some people prefer English dubs. It's a fact, and this will ultimately be a deal breaker. When our Hugh Hefner is not flirting with his 500 waifus, the game becomes an action RPG. Although, unlike Hollow Fragment, it's not instantly game over when a character dies since you're able to revive them and vice versa. The combat is very easy to pick up and it's really cool experimenting with different skills and characters. There's around 20 characters to choose from and you're not restricted to playing as just Kirito or custom character. The game has the usual RPG conventions of equipment management, leveling up, strengthening weapons, etc etc. But, for whatever reason, the game won't let you change equipment unless you're in a town. Even RPGs from the 1990s weren't this anal. <laughs> the game is actually really easy. Only the bosses seem to put up a decent fight. Although, I was playing on normal and I assumed switching it to hard might change this. However, changing the difficulty won't address the game's lack of enemy variation and the game tries to hide this by changing their colors. The thing that separates Lost Song from most RPGs is the flying mechanic which is a cool way to explore the environment and you can even fight enemies in the sky. You probably noticed I slipped in a few puppy love scenes into the footage but those are just cutscenes, not dating sim elements. Those have been stripped out. And the character customization is also very restrictive compared to Hollow Fragment. At least the multiplayer component has been expanded upon, although you can't play through the story mode with friends. You can only engage in side quests and PvP matches. The game runs at a decent clip, however the graphics aren't much to write home about. Now, I don't care too much about the technical aspects of the visuals, aside from the frame rate, but I do expect the game to have some artistic merit. The problem with Lost Song is the colors are really dull, which is strange for a game based on an anime filled with color. Also, the world of ALO isn't exactly brimming with personality, and all the dungeons kind of look the same. In fact, many of the dungeons recycle the same runes because Apparently, nobody would notice. But, the music is really good. It's that kind of relaxing, beautiful music you could fall asleep to. Lost Song is okay. That's honestly the best word I can use to describe it. I did enjoy it more than Hollow Fragments and the game functions without any game-breaking bugs or glitches. Unlike a certain game that came out last week, he 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 he. It just feels like an average RPG with a Sword Art Online name plastered on it. I said average, not bad. Fans of the anime will obviously love this, but non-fans in the market for a good RPG should steer clear of this one. 
クエスト見事クリアだよやりましたねお見事です